Hello everyone, my name is Octavian and I welcome you to probably what is the last part of the Unreal Engine 5 FPS tutorial series by Infima Games. Now we might make more tutorials in the future, but this one is mostly finished. In this part, we're going to add the holster and unholster animations and we're going to make, make them kind of be played whenever we press some sort of key. Maybe we will also make the unholster play when we start the game just for that coolness factor. And um, that's pretty much it. That's all we're going to do for this one. So let's just immediately get started. First thing we're going to do is we're naturally going to need montages for those two animations. So I'm going to do the same process I've done a few times now. I'm going to go to art, assault rifle, animations, and then inside of animations, we're going to have equip and then we're going to have holster. So we're going, I'm going to go to both of these and double click on them and then ensure that we make sure we are using the proper additive setting. So it's going to be local space, selected animation frame, and then make sure we're using the idle pose. Both of these were built on the idle pose. So that was the equip. And then I'm going to go to the holster animation and do the same exact thing. So local space, selected animation frame, and then pick the idle pose. That was the additive settings. Now the next step is to make montages out of these. So I'm going to control click on them, right click, create and create anim montage. So that will create two montages for us. I'm not going to bother renaming them because it's already close that, uh, that little pop up. So let's just click on them inside of these. You're going to see they look a little bit weird. So assign the preview base pose to the idle pose to fix that. Make sure we're not using any blend time for now. We might need it later, but for now, let's just not use any of it. Let's also duplicate the slot and add it to the aiming slot as well. So we can play these while aiming too. And then let's do that same thing for the equip montage. So preview base pose is idle pose. The blend times are just going to be zero for both blend in and blend out. And then the slot is going to be the normal one and the aimed one. Okay. With that, we have both of our montages, so we can go ahead and close that. They are both right here. Oh, sorry, not those. <laughs> Actually, as a matter of fact, I am going to rename them. I pranked you there for a moment. I am going to rename them. So let's just quickly go there and call them AM something, just so we can sort them properly in the content browser. There it is. So now we have equip and holster. So we're going to need to play these when we press some sort of input. So let's make a holster input action. We can do that the same way as always. So I'm going to right click in the data folder, go input. If you haven't watched the, the, the series here, then we've done this pretty much 20 times at this point. So <laughs> all I did was make an input action. Input action holster is what I named it. We don't need to do anything else inside of there. As always, let's go to the input mapping context. And then inside here, fold all of these, which will naturally unfold as soon as I click mappings. Yes, they did. And then go to the last mapping, find holster. And then let's put this on the three key. I usually do these this because it's just very close to my left hand, really. So it's easy for testing. I, as a matter of fact, I think in our assets, we have it on three as well. But you can put it on whatever key you want. Now, let's go back to the content drawer. Let's find our character blueprint. So core and it's going to be core character. And then inside of here, as always, we're going to have an event for that. So if I right click IA holster, we have an event. And inside of this event, I'm just going to play an animation for now. I'm only going to play one. So let's play the equip. This is just going to be the start of things. Now, the way to play it is, as always, I'm going to drag the character arms. I'm going to call the play montage action. Just make it a little nicer. And then for the montage, let's just assign the equip montage. If I compile and play now, and I press three, you're going to see that we play the equip montage. Now I can hold and it's going to look horrible because that is going to make it play a million times. So remember to use the do once right here, do once, and then make sure you also reset that when we complete it. This will ensure that you can only Perform this action once when holding. I can now hold and it's not going to change anything, but if I tap, it's going to do it multiple times, which is great. Now let's, as a very simple uh, functionality thing, let's also add it so that 
when I'm already equipped, when I have the weapon equipped, it's going to play the holster montage instead. So to do that, I'm going to first add some sort of boolean that keeps track of whether we have the weapon equipped. So let's call it be equipped. And then I can drag this one and set it. And we will set this to true by default, actually. As a matter of fact, you can just do that in the default details panel here. And then the first time we go through this, what we're going to do, or every time we go through this, I'm going to drag equipped and I'm going to say not equipped. And what this will do is it will basically flip it from whatever it is to the opposite. So if it's true, it's going to set it to false. And then if it's false, it's going to set it to true. So that's what we're going to do as the first thing when we call this holster action. And then the next thing, we're going to determine what animation to play based on the value of the equipped boolean. So this is also going to be super simple. If I grab the equipped boolean and I use a select node, you can scroll down for a generic version. What this is going to allow us to do is going to allow us to pick between two things based on this value. And it's, one is going to be the true one and the other one is going to be the false one. So if I drag this into the montage to play, that's going to automatically convert into two montages that we're going to pick between. And I'm just going to drag that right there. And then if we are equipped, so this will mean that we just set this to equipped, which means we need to play the equip animation. On true, we're going to play the equip. And then on false, we're going to play the holster. And then I'm just going to connect this right here. Let's move this a little bit. Now, if I compile and play, if I press three now, it's going to holster. And then if I press three again, it's going to equip. Press three holster, press three equip. So that's kind of the vibe. Now, you will notice one small issue is that when I holster, the weapon goes back after finishing the montage. We don't really want that. We want it to stay down. This is very easy to fix. Just go to the content drawer, go to the animations folder. We're going to need to open the holster action montage or the holster animation montage. And inside of here, we're going to disable enable auto blend out. And what this will do is it will make it so this animation never really finishes. It will just kind of stay here. So if we just compile and play, if I press three now, we are just holstered. We are still playing the kind of the movement. And in fact, I can still run <laughs> so I can do all of that. Um, the only thing I cannot really do, well, I can fire and I can do all that and it will cancel the montage. So we're going to want to fix that. But by default, it's going to stay holstered. Okay, so let's fix a few of these, a few of these small kind of issues. So if I press reload, it's going to cancel the holster. We don't really want that, obviously. And the other thing we don't really want is for the fire to cancel that. So let's start with those two things. So to fix that, I'm just going to go to our character blueprint. And inside of here, I'm going to go to reload and shoot to both of them. And we're going to check if we have the weapon equipped before we allow it to do anything. So let's go to shoot. And just like we, we've been doing with all of this, mess right here we're gonna check and and i'm gonna check equipped so we need to have the weapon equipped and i'm gonna do the same thing for the reload input action so let's find reload and then inside of here we are going to place a condition which says that the weapon is equipped and then kind of make sure that it looks a little less weird. Okay, I mean, that's mostly okay. We can, I, I can live with that. Let's just keep it like that. So that we've checked if we're equipped for both of those. If I play now, if I holster, I cannot fire even if I'm clicking. I cannot reload even if I'm clicking. So I can't do any of those two things which in our case is really good. The one thing that we still have remaining though, is that if I, for example, run, you're gonna see that it kind of goes to this running state and we can see the weapon. Now, if you like that, then, well, you don't really need to do anything. But if you don't like that and you don't wanna see the weapon doing that, at least not the way it's currently holstered, we can keep the camera, but sort of hide the weapon. And the way to do that, very simply in this situation at least, would be to allow the character to also play montages while running. So let's let's just test that. I'm not entirely sure <laughs> how this is going to look. So let, I mean, let's just see it. 
if I go to the animation blueprint inside of core animation blueprint character, and then I copy this default slot and I go over to the running loop and place this default slot right after it, that will make it so we can play animations then. So for example, if I run now and reload, it is going to reload. If you like that, by the way, then this is also pretty cool because we haven't fixed the the reloading while running in last tutorial. So this is also another small fix that might look pretty cool. And now if I go ahead and holster, I can run and you will not see the weapon. So that is partly kind of a, a cool small thing. You can also see now the equip animations while running, which does look pretty cool. And you can basically with that kind of already have a holster setup. For everything else you want to add that you know needs to check if the weapon is equipped you can do that same setup we just did and then for the last thing i'm going to do for this entire tutorial before our conclusion i'm going to make the weapon unequipped by default so you can see by default it just kind of appears on the screen which looks a little lame so instead of that what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to class defaults i'm going to make sure that equipped is set to false by default now this will not do any magic, so if I press and now I press 3, it's just going to equip. But we don't want that. What we want is to call the equipping functionality whenever the game starts. So this is our equipping functionality, our holster. I'm going to, right next to here, I'm going to add an event, because we cannot call this action from code ourselves. And I'm going to add an event and say holster toggle. And all this is going to do is it's going to run exactly the same functionality that this event is running. So it is going to change the equipped value, it's going to toggle it, and then it's going to play the correct animation montage. So now with that, I can go to begin play, and inside of begin play, right after we add widgets, I can call holster toggle right here. And what this will do is by default, it will toggle the holster boolean, or this equipped kind of value, and we'll set it to true, and then it will play the equipping animation. So if I play now, you see that it equips. As a matter of fact, one other thing we can do, just to make it even a little bit nicer, is I can add a little delay between that and this. So if I drag from here and I type delay. Let's add like a 0.2 delay. Compile and save. Actually, with the delay, you might see you might see it be a little bit weird because you're seeing the the weapon kind of pop in. So maybe let's not add a delay. Let's just keep it by default as it is. Great, so now if I play, it's just gonna unholster it, which looks great. And with that, we finished the tutorial. I've been saying for a very long time that I would clean this blueprint and all the other blueprints. So what I will do for you is I will clean these for the project files. So whenever you grab the project files from the description or from wherever we put them, you will get all of this cleaned and somewhat documented hopefully maybe i'll write a little bit of documentation too but the tutorial itself serves as documentation for what all of this does and i will leave all of those for you in the description and hopefully see you in whatever next videos we make i hope you enjoyed the series and i hope i see you around this was octavian with infima games